Hello. Quick sound test. Uh, down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up. And my laptop decided to freeze up. <laughs> One moment, if anyone can hear me, I don't know, not on the freaking sound check. Yes, anyone can hear me, speaking to chat. Seem okay? Down, down, up, up. Yeah, it's working now. It's fine. Always got to make sure. Right, we're back. I did do a little cheat to find out the next bit. And I think I was just... It was easy to miss. That's all I'm going to do. If I ever come to a point where I'm just stuck, there's no point just wandering around like this in the last video. I was just wandering around for like the majority of the uh, episode. Like for about an hour, <laughs> just wondering what the hell I need to do. Uh, right, so, right character, we need Dolores. I thought we needed something better than Visual Basic, but it turns out it is that, and it's a separate object to the co computer, not attached to the computer. So if we go back to our room. Uh, so, there you go, Graphics Visual Basic, so if we pick up yeah. There you go. Graphics now, basic, the powerful programming language. Now Unlock use the full potential yeah. of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Yeah, I should have realized that. My phone is attached, that's what. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. Right. Now use the will in the computer. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. A short 15 minutes of coding and decoding later. That could be a short 15 minutes in comparison to a long 15 minutes. Well, I, Charles Edmund, being the sound mind and body, do hereby declare this my last will and testament, revoking any and all wills previously made by me. I declare that I am making this will, this last will, a and testament of my own will, being under no threat or coercion or duress of no other human being. I'm a free mind and body. I declare that I have no children, natural or adopted. I have a single brother, Franklin, and he has two offspring, Lenore and Dolores. I hereby appoint Brent Ballywick, JD, as executor of my will and direct that he serve without bond. This will is executed under the laws of jurisdiction of Thimbleweed County and all claims of. Yeah, I can't read the rest. Right. Well, I we got it. it. It's totally decoded now. Up. Just down the hall. So that's as much as the red fire walkthroughs, by the way. <laughs> I can't believe it was something that simple. I thought I needed to do so much more. See, it's easy to overthink things on this game. Uh. Yes, Dolores. Do you have a question about your uncle's stipulations? Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Part 5. The reading. Now all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. <laughs> Stop I, digging, Edmund, dog. Being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament. Blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Ooh! <laughs> Doug likes farms. 
The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Ah, shit. In the meantime, Safely First Savings now has possession of the pillow factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillowtron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillowtronics. <laughs> Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. <laughs> and that was part five. <laughs> part six, the factory. <laughs> Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. I see the. Uh, get into the factory. It's literally what it all comes down to now. <laughs> I love basic. Uh, right. How we do that? Who is it in ownership of now? So from first savings, first savings like nothing's changed in this time. Foreclosed by order of safely first savings, and in small print it says, "For inquiries, contact safely first savings, probate executor of this property." Safe, yeah, you go. Safely first. Closed Let's contact. By them. order of safe. Um, we need a phone book. This street, the next street, this is street. There's a phone book. For safely first savings. Uh, safely first bank. Uh, Five zero four two. It's a cell phone. Yep. I know. Five. Oh, four two. Ring a ding ding. Hello, oh, Safely go. First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? I'd like two pizzas to go. Yes, I'm your friendly, obscene caller. No, <laughs> you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, goodbye. Well, that worked. Uh... Oh, I already forgot the number. <laughs> Um, safely first bank. 5042. 5042. So somebody's gonna have to, uh. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. I, I'd like to open an account. There? I'd like to open an account. I don't believe you. Please stop wasting my time. Now, right. Good Bye. Uh, I guess Dolores is the only one in the know of this sort of stuff now. Uh, so get back home. See if you can't say anything. Digging. Uh, no. Oh. No. Telephone. Five, five, four, two. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Uh. I'd like to order two pizzas to go. I think you have the wrong number. This is a bank. Now, goodbye. Well, um. Let's try going there, I guess. We know where the bank is. Oh, they're open. Hello. The sign's a sign of where we are. It's a promotional bank flyer. Let's pick it up. Open an account today and get a free toaster. I want that free toaster. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Oh, boy, let's nick it. 
Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take my things, it's a bank. I'm a federal agent, and I need a paperweight. I don't care who you are. You <laughs> can't have it. Are, are, are you coming on to me? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. One of those fancy new wireless phones. There's no phone number on it. Ugh, they hung up. I'll pay. I'll I pay. almost had them long enough to get a trace on the call. How can I help, madame? You know much about Chuck Edmund? He was a much-loved community figure and our bank's most loyal customer. Mr. Edmund will be sorely missed. He can't hear you six feet under, so don't kiss his ass for my benefit. Have some respect for the dead, please, madame. Madame. Why is the factory locked up so tight? In its current state, the factory is not safe to enter. Fire damage rendered the building unstable, and I'm sure the Edmonds don't want any frivolous lawsuits. But aside from that, it is my understanding the factory still contains some valuable Pillotronics equipment. That's why we are holding the key until Mr. Edmonds' final wishes are made clear at his will reading. I see. What's your role here? I'm Mr. El Palo, the manager of Safely First Savings. I take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. May I ask why the feds are interested in my work all of a sudden? You may not. <laughs> How did you know I'm a fed? You mean aside from the terrible suit? This is a small town where everybody knows everybody else and their business. When a couple of strangers start snooping around, word travels fast. Looks like we got ourselves a regular Sherlock. My badge could make your life difficult. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you threatening me? I'm just saying if you aren't willing to cooperate with my investigations. Let's say by withholding key information, I might have grounds to call in my buddies and investigate your records. And I'm sure they'll find something juicy. Madame, I don't like what you're implying, and I welcome you to call in your goons. I'm clean as a whistle, and you won't get around me with your scare tactics. Damn it. Did you hear about the murder? Of course. It's not every day a body shows up in Thimbleweed Park. Seems like the least of this town's problems. Bet you feel safer now Willie is locked up. I'm not sure that I do. Whatever his personal problems, Willie doesn't seem like a murderer to me. That's what everyone who knows them says about a killer. Maybe so, but I just don't think he did it. Willie did it. That stupid arrestron proved it. Say what you want, but it doesn't change the fact there is likely an innocent watch repairman sitting in a cell right now. Goodbye, Mr. El Paulo. If you ever need savings right. or loan advice, feel free to drop by. I missed by. a bit of that because I got distracted, but uh, I'll be back in a minute. Won't be a second. Uh, pause.
Right, I'm back. Uh, yeah. I might have to... Oh, there's a key! Shit! Alright, oh, we need a distraction. Uh... <laughs> Right, we got this. First of all, I might want to just go over one of the conversations with Reyes, because he has similar conversations, doesn't he, with people? No, 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 no. Hello, safely first savings. Oh, I know. When he turns around. Hands. Is this an obscene phone call? It is. Keep talking. Oh, we got it. You. Run, 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 run. Is this? Reyes, Reyes. Ray, get ya get your ass out of there. We got the key. We have we done it. Yes. Uh <laughs> Yeah, what I was about just to bring everyone down and see if we could get different dialogue out of him. Ah, uh, use a tricky. The key Bam. fits. Yes! We're in. The path leads. Alright. Holy crap. Speck of dust. Time clock. Oh. Oh. I need to find the correct time to set it to. Okay. Now, could we change this? Doesn't look like we can. Oh. I need to find the correct time to set it to. The door there. Big opening there. It's another doorway. Pilotronics. Pilotronics. The mechanized pillow factory of the future. Frick. Established 1954. Another one. I need to find door the Tron pizza Doortron 3000, and it's a large red button. Alright, push it. Hmm. Nothing happens. The doors are locked, and there's no place for a key. Alright, let's go for this door first. Uh, there's a door here, wasn't It's it? locked, and there's no handle. Oh, balls. Alright, let's go for the main archway. It's the back of... Three? I need to find the correct time to set it to. It says Victor. security above the doorway in tiny letters. It says security above the doorway in tiny letters. Uh, it's already good. open. Oh, alright, can we not go through then? We can. Ooh. Oh, this is probably filled with clues and puzzle solutions. Haha. <laughs> uh, well. And book. Security handbook. Ugh. Oh, that's oh, that's one one page. Pillotronics Inc. Factory security is very important to us. The Pillotronics Factory contains highly priority machinery and technology. A breach of security is a breach of each of us. Well, when making the rounds, be sure to check to each into each security box within five minutes of the last box. When the correct time is entered, the station will the station light will turn green. If the factory AI is engaged, it's important to never enter the factory unless the SR01s have been disengaged. Pillotron Inc. will not be responsible for any death or dismemberment that results in failure to shut down all factory AI before entering. Failing to check in at uh, the proper, proper times could result in a factory lockdown. If factory lockdown occurs, the PF001 master tube may need to be reset. CEO is the only one with the proper instructions for resetting the PF001. Security and time code information call 3750. Chuck Edmund. GG. 3750. It's a map of the abandoned factory. Alright, let's. We might have to have a, keep an eye on that. But for now, let's see what's this way. Another speck of dust. I'll take that. Uh, there's an archway, archway, archway. What's this? Electric, electric truck. It's oh, a heavy-duty restraining strap and bolt, and needs a wrench to loosen it. All right. Let's it turn appears this. to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It's now in the off position. It's not. <laughs> push that. Uh, yeah. Push that uh, lever. 
Egg Island. That's the fourth one. That's that. Right. Uh. 3750. Let's get a raid call. 3750. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 7.20. 7.20. Station 1. Uh, how do I set them? Oh! Uh, Ray has this tool. It's a very strange looking tool. You're a strange looking tool. Right, so 7.20, and something about saying it's five minute intervals or something like that? Uh, let's just double check this, let's be sure. When making a round, be sure to check it each security box within five minutes of the last box. When the correct time is entered, the station light will turn green. So I think it's all of them need to be set to 7.20 within the space of five minutes. I think. Use a strange tool. Uh -huh. It doesn't seem to fit that. Um. Okay. How do I change it? It's like it looks like it should. But what's that? Of a girl. What's anyone got? It's a Dortron three thousand. Uh, it's a factory key. But that. That's it. I use key. It won't fit there. No. Uh, the watch. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. Oh god, seven twenty. Leaving Dad's watch behind. Yep. Now we're gonna make a run. Gonna get all four of them going. Running, run, 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 running. It's my father's old pocket Use watch. Watch. Good as there. Oh, that's right. Hey. What? Oh, uh, gotta call him again. Uh, what's the number? Uh, 3750? I think there was 3750. Oh, balls. Ah. 3750. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is... 7.20. That's all I get. All right, go in. It's a large red button. All right, push the big red button. Nothing happens. It's a Dortron 3000. So that's been set. See, this has already been set now. It's 720. Uh, I'm panicking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those have good. Ah, I gotta do it all the way around now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Right. So it was as I originally theorized. So they're each gonna be five minutes out of each other. It's the back. It's the three over here. Running. There you go. 
Use that there. And we'll pow. There we go. We're in. Uh push big ribbon. The doors moved a little but stopped. Hm. They must be stuck. I think they're unlocked. It opened a little more. Right, we need teamwork here. Not fucking teamwork. It opened a little more. Yeah, so we need everyone. Come on, everyone. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. I guess I could prop I think I can squeeze through the opening now. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Holy! Oh, you said it, Plum. This can't be. It's not possible. It what is. have you done, Uncle Chuck? Part seven: the madness. <laughs> this looks like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. <laughs> uh, oh, you stuff. Like a dust. Back at dust. It's dawning virus. Last it's time. locked with a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. Um. Oh. <laughs> well done. Uh, what was this way then? It's an exit. Uh, some water fountain, kind of. That picture looks familiar. Kind of like Thimbleweed Park without any buildings. I don't want to pick that up. Oh. Great protection from UVA and UVB. Very important for pirates. Got it. Let's use it. Oh yeah. Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Who was he watching? Terminal like boot disk. It's a floppy disk. This is the office that we saw when, um, there was a gen another journal here as well. Uh, I might save that for uh, what's his face. Come on. Yeah. 
He's the one that wants the uh, closure. We'll find out what's happened to his uh, dad. Inspect us. I can't reach. Yeah, part two. Entry 3668. It, it is true. A lot makes sense now. Where's Laura's mother? Interesting. Entry 5129. It's spending more and more time in the lab with the AI and, and our text adventure. It's unlocking some interesting mysteries. My brief assumptions about it and the world seem to be correct. Entry 5201. More research and falling deeper into the rabbit hole. Odd things I never considered before are making sense. Thimbleweed Park has 80 residents, but 3,000 people in the phone book. <laughs> it didn't make sense until I considered the impossible. Entry 5201. Uh, oh my god, this is terrifying! <laughs> Entry 5202. The AI says there's only one way, but I start to suspect it. Is it telling me the truth? Entry 5203. We are being watched. I am being watched. The AI is not what it says it is. Entry 5205. I am now convinced the AI is not an AI at all, but something else. Something from a different world. Same world from the people from the phone book are from. Entry 5205. I created a small Tron tube that lives deep in the text adventure and it's, it is uncoupled from us. It keeps counting up and up. We must be res resetting. Entry 5205. I need to go deeper. The deeper I go, the less they can watch me. They aren't paying attention to what happens below. They're only watching at the surface. Fools. Entry 5205. I just realised I'm being saying 5205 for the past. First view. 5205. Franklin keeps trying to get this factory restarted to make stuffed animals. I can't let this happen. My world will be discovered. I need more power. Reverse radio transmissions might do it. Entry 5201. Franklin has been taken care of. I feel bad if he was my real brother. Entry 5202. Franklin called a foreign investor to come and evaluate the factory for possible investment. The AI says I need to stop this. I don't know if I can trust the AI. Maybe I can. Entry 5203. I plan to deal with a foreign investor. I'll set the gears in motion. I can't tell if everything is raveling or coming together. Entry 5201. Another reset. I can feel them now, even without the uncoupled tube. Entry 5202. The Billetron machine is done. The text adventure is perfect. I don't think they noticed. I can hide there. But before I go, I need to leave Delora with some clues. If anyone can figure it out, it's her. Entry 5203. This is to stop. There is only one way. I'm sorry. Ignorance is truly bliss. If only I'd stayed ignorant. If I'd just let Franklin stay and make his stuffed toys, we'd be rich and ignorant. <laughs> living in. Living in. I can't think about this. Entry 5204. This is my last journal entry. I'd say more, but they can, but they can read this. I've hidden the clues all around Thimbleweed Park. I need to be careful. They are not noticed by him. They need to think it was their idea. Dolores will see through it. Please, Dolores, be as smart and as resourceful as I know you are. Goodbye. Well, I thought it'd be this uh, Reyes I would need to read it, but probably best if Dolores Thanks. does. Alright, have a quick read. Uh, da, 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 You got all that, Dolores? I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. let's continue looking. There's an exit here. Ah, right here. Oh, no, that door. What's in here? Stairs. There's a staircase. <laughs> what to certain death? Um. <laughs> what? Certain death? I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. This needs to be disabled then. 
Can we put that up? I'm not going in there. Certain death. I can't reach that. Right. Third is clues we're gonna figure out. Uh, well, we got the floppy disk, didn't we? Uh, I found a disk. It's a. It's a floppy disk in the computer. It's booting up. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck, where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM. And I am oh, now God. more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing <laughs> you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your <laughs> this mind. This is your mind. No, Dolores, this is your mind blow. I gained a mind. A more powerful mind. A mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let We're just the game got now to the team for 50 specks of dust. I will find you. Uh, go deep into the factory, find out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Find out what happened to Dad. Well, I've read the book. I know what happened to Dad. It's Lurleen, my pet. Do I have to read this a bit slower so she can take it in? No. Where you got? Escape to the afterlife. Uh, you go steal the secret to the pillow factory AI. Go deeper to factory steal the secret of the AI. Uh, we all don't need to be here now, do we? I can't put. Cause we can all just go through this way. I don't understand computers. Uh, it looks like there's a floor, like a hatch there. Was. He wants to find his prototype doll. Uh, right, Dolores, it's down to you. You gotta figure it out. I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. Why is that relevant? It doesn't open, so how can I close it? I didn't ask you to open it. It doesn't open, so how can I close it? Alright, uh, open it up. This painting is firmly nailed to the wall. Alright. Uh. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I'm not wearing it. What a great hat! What a great hmm. hat! Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> Adventure chip mod. Uh, directory. Tic tac toe. Uh, middle row. Center. Uh, top 
row right. Uh, bottom row center. I think I boss it up. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Middle. Left. Uh, top. Left. Tie game. We're gonna win. In a receptor. Top center. Uh, bottom left. Middle right. I force it up again, haven't I? God damn it! Get good at tic tac toe, Daniel. Middle, I know it all starts from middle center. Let's go top left. It's because. Alright, now let's go. Let's go middle right. <laughs> let's give them all the opportunities. Alright, bottom center. And top right. <laughs> God damn it. Balls to the uh, center all the time, logic. It's not working for me. Top left. Uh, bottom center. Bottom left. Nah, no, I really do need center, don't I? Oh, you let me win. I'm right. I win. <laughs> I got nothing for it. <laughs> Adventure Chuck Mod. Welcome to Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2, written and programmed by Ron Gilbert. Copyright 1981. Mods by Chuck, Chuck Evan. You wake up in a damp, dank room. The floor is hard stone. A dim light is to your west. Well, let's go west. You're in a long stone corridor. Oh! Didn't we get a guide for this or something at some point? Or oh, am I remembering this from another playthrough? Uh, you're in a long stone corridor with exit east and west. It smells of death. Alright, let's look around. You're in a. Okay. Yeah, let's go east. Floor is hard stone, a dim light to your west. Alright. Oh, we came from there, didn't we? Alright. Let's go north. There's no exit. Door. Let's go east. You walk into the whoa! You walk into a dark chamber. You see a glint of light, just as the spike reflects off your lantern. But it's oh, yeah, I read that wrong. Just as the spike reflects off your lantern, but it's too late. You're impaled before you have time to react. <laughs> you lay in the dark chambers for several hours, a bloody slowly draining for your brains as your consciousness slowly slips away. You ponder for reasons for being here. What what was it drove you to this dark chamber of death? Do you really have a choice, or do your choice be made by others? Just everything becomes clear. Death takes over, and there's nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> what a stupid ending! It really gives me something to think about. I don't like it. <laughs> so I quit. What a stupid ending! <laughs> All right, let's go west. And west. You're in a large room with a beam of light coming from the opening above. A river can be heard far to the north. Heard to north. Uh. Go to light. The opening is too high to reach. Uh, let's go north. The path leads to a dead end. There's no way out except the way you came in from the south. The strange cave paintings on the walls. Let's examine the paintings. They are odd paintings depicting humans running in terror from robots. Other humans seem to be controlling the robots with joysticks and nothing. Alright. Uh, what was around here again? Uh, there's just no way over to go south again. Uh, light is too high. We have to go back. <laughs> Same corridor. <laughs> We've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> That's it. Right. That and it really gives me something to think about. Uh, a hard reboot. There was something. Uh, I remember. 
Thanks for playing. You're welcome. No for computers. Right. Um, in fact, you, Dolores, can go there, actually. I remember... In fact... I know who can go. He's got the comic, has he? Where's he? He's got a poster. Alright, you go. Just in case this shit gets real. Uh, back to Thimblecom. Um, yes, there we go. Uh, it does say it's... Oh, it's ended. The door to Thimble, the door to... Right. This guy. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. Good. Bye. Alright, give him the poster. Pew, pew, pew. No way. This is a Ransom the Clown collectible. Uh Basically we need a D and D guy to think. That's what I remember anyway. Bank Open an account today and get a free toaster. Okay. Maybe, um. What's her face? Let's come down here then. Not you. Fuck, <laughs> um. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. Goodbye. Nope. Uh... I give you this toy bear. I'd rather hold on to this in case of a hug emergency. Alright, use it then. I'll just take a little hug to keep me going. Alright, give it to, uh... Alright. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Give this bottle to him. I'm keeping it for myself. Alright. Uh, what about the t-shirt? This is part of my inheritance. I'm not giving it to anyone. Starships in bottles. Handmade. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret to adventure game design. Oh, cutting edge can... Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. Hidden the clues all around the Thimbleweed Park. You need to be careful and not notice them, and that they are not noticed by them. They need to think it was their idea. Dolores will see through it. Please, Dolores, be as smart as resourceful and there you are. Great. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me guess, and. Um, yeah, it's definitely not this one, because yeah, you get a comic somewhere, and then you give it pew, a pew, pew. guide, but I can't remember where that comic is. Uh, maybe... The adventure is relative to the Mawid Park. I think 
I've seen this painting somewhere before. Where have I seen this painting somewhere before? Yeah, there's nowhere to go on here. It's just dead end. Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Who was he watching? Why is that painting familiar then? I think... Have you seen it as what, Ray? What do you say to it? I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go around all the freaking Thimbleweed part just to find where I saw this painting before. I think I've seen this painting but somewhere I'm glad it's not before. just limited to Dolores, because everyone must have seen it somewhere before. But where? Where, damn you? Why is it? Just like a view from the vista. To me. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? I'd play if it were a sure thing. Uh, where have I seen that painting then? It's supposed to be in here or something? A speck of dust there. You no. think a bank could afford a better painting? That's it, isn't it? I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. Hello. I should wait until he's off the phone. Is this an obscene phone call? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Moan, huh? That's right. Keep it up. There you go again. Ugh, they hung up. I almost had them long enough to get a trace on the call. How can I help, madame? Goodbye, Mr. El Paulo. If you ever need savings or loan advice, feel free to drop by. I found the paint since it wasn't me. Who cares a clock? Oh. No. Uh, can I give him the flyer? Don't want to do. We're all out of toasters. Oh. Open an account today and get a free toaster. You'd think a bank could afford a better painting. Keep talking. I've almost. Oh, there you go oh again. I don't want to pick that up. I can open. Ugh, they hung up. I can't open that. I almost had them long enough to get a trace on the call. That doesn't seem to close. Oh, I know. I can take the paperweight. It's a small wooden animal figurine. Hello, I don't know safety why. first savings. Your money is in our hands. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? Keep talking. I've Got almost it. traced you. Moan, huh? I can't reach that. Alright, we need something else of him. It's a small wooden figure with matte 
carved into the base. It's a small wooden figure with mat carved into the base. Right. Then so many people can call by the name Matt, maybe. Uh, is anyone near him? Why is Matt? They're like close to the phone, aren't you? Uh, be this way though. Is it? Oh, it's. No, it's not this way. Matt. See, I think the issue also is here is that um, we might be getting items that are only relevant for the harder difficulty, which is misleading. Uh, maybe it's a number we can call? Anyone by the name of Matt? Uh, should be, yeah, there's a few Matts. <laughs> uh, any of them? Any of them? Deep out? No. Dime a dozen. <laughs> I might be stuck again. Uh, I see. I'm just picking up items. I'm not getting anywhere. familiar. Kind of like Thimbleweed Park without any buildings. Great. There's a Help me! Please! Help me! The hell? I'm not going in there. I'm not going in- I'm not going in there. You will never defeat me! The you will never defeat disable me! Disable this. Has to do with computer controlled robot arms. I see the blast door. We I'm not go I'm not going in there. I'll go back then. There you go. You're not doing this without me. I want to oh. be here too. That's all we had to do. <laughs> hey! Wait for me! God damn it. See how we complicated things. This is one option I didn't pick. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say I. 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 Abstain. Super. <laughs> Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy <laughs> and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. Part 8, the escape. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, it's locked. locked. Yep. All right, can we go down this way now? Yeah. 
How clever. You rebooted my computer! Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. Help me, please! Oh. Help me! Bother. Alright. Push him. That's that. <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom, TM. You are crap. doomed! Hold I think on, I would have been on, fine with lasers, but lasers... turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. Doom? I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are Silent doomed. as a baby's bottom. You will bottom. never get past my searing lasers of death! TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You are all doomed against the AI uh, power of Pillotron 3000, TM. Dun 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 it's spinning pretty fast. No way past it. Servicing call 2493. Uh, 2493. It's a s the cell phone has no reception. Oh, bother. But I, I think I know. There's a... S no you fair! Get there is no way to get past my lasers. Okay, that's enough. I'm out of here. Okay, I can't she take can't. it. So she needs. Uh, let's get back. Yeah, right. My okay. evil lasers are too powerful for you. Counts right up. Didn't feel thing, PA. You're cheating. Ha! Ha! Pounce right off. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0. Pounce right off. Ha! Ha! Take that. Pounce right off. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. Two. Uh. Ray. Right. Give her the. Give her your ship, basically. Give it a strange tool. I can't give this tool to anyone. It's too important. Alright then, Dolores. Give that. There you go. Ray, use that. You just wait for the lasers of Doom, TM 2.0! Ha! Didn't feel a thing. You're cheating! Didn't feel a thing. Didn't feel a thing. Bounce right off. I filed this as a bug report. Bounce right off. Didn't feel a thing. You're cheating! Right, can we use this here? It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure that doesn't... S it's spinning pretty fast. No way past it. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, you can't use that. Uh, and we got signal here. Two, four, nine, three. The cell phone has. I've got no one idea. Uh, go for it. I'm not sure if we we able to. Uh, hey, new ghost! I told you not to bug me. I don't think everything we could do. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. It's an elevator. The okay. closed ele Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere with a phone. Zap that phone. Ooh. Don't wail. I can't remember the number that. <laughs> uh. Two four nine three. That doesn't use electricity. It's a phone. Fo yeah, the phone. Is that the phone. That doesn't use electricity. Oh bother! Oh, yeah, it's just it's dead. A it's a phone. 
Zap it. That doesn't no. use oh, electricity. Not the phone. There you go. Two, four, five, three. Yeah, dude, wrong number. I think it's two, four, nine, three, isn't it? Yeah, two, four, nine, three. For God's sakes. Two, four, nine, three. Two, four, nine, three. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in three, hey. two, one. Current state of the fan is off. Woo! I see a lot of I equipment in there. A secret room. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. Go for it. I am impossible to touch while superheated. That's good to know. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. It's closed and there's no obvious handle. Overheating uh, won't hurt me. It's too hot to touch. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. I am impossible to. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Can we not use that then? It's too hot to touch. Bring All right. Uh, I can take the heat. Can you? I am impossible to touch while super. All right. So what have we got? Has to be something that we've got here. Uh. I am impossible to touch while superheated. It's closed and there's no obvious handle. Overheating won't hurt me. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Oh, maybe we just have to turn it back on. Uh, what was the number again? 2493. It's a phone. Two, four, nine, three. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in three, two, one. I think this is where we get Current decided of who the gets their end. Because look how far ahead only one person can get. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. And like I when did Loris get back here? Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. Right. Use strange tool. She's the only one with a strange tool, and she won't give it to, to anyone. Me are I don't it care has how to be. much money they were going to pay me. I'm not going in there. I can't read. I don't care how much money they were going to pay me. I'm not going in there. I am one with Pillotron three thousand. Ah. There we go. Uh, who is going in there then? Doris? I am one with Pillotron 3000. Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillotron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible. You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a... Game designer. Oh You've been God! By bad tube technology. Oh, I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck, or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores. <laughs> it's locked. You just shut the panel, bitch. These extra large PT one zero nine tubes are what makes Pillowtron three thousand function. Right, you should going. have listened to me! You can't defeat me, Dolores! Ooh, hello. Death, Dolores! Shutting me down will only make me stronger! That seems legit. You won't mind Death if I do it, then. He's all that awaits you now! Help me, Dolores! You should have listened to me! Daisy, Daisy... <laughs> 
give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Death is all that awaits you now. Save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. Save me, Dolores. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. Save me, Dolores. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. Help me, Dolores. Uh. You tried to kill us. Why should I save you? Because I discovered something you'll want to know about. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you locked me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get <sighs> crazier. Oh, shit. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. <laughs> so, hi, come on, I don't know either. Uh, Agni Agni intervention? intervention? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to like food. <laughs> As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Uh. Look. <sighs> could be. Um, could not just shut off Couldn't the Tron you machine? just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Is this after the factory burned down? Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. <laughs> I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Right. You mean it was shareware? <laughs> you mean pirated? You mean purchased it? Purchased it online? Downloaded? <laughs> you mean it was purchased online? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. Master, a thousand of people who earn living making games. <laughs> That's a gay pirates. Wouldn't bought it anyway. Ha! <laughs> it's for not having a game demo. It matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? <laughs> the more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. Lies. Less than a simulation. We are all just characters in a video game. <laughs> That's nuts. That's nuts. Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Oh my have god, the plot twist. Or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book. Like there being no school in the movie part. Like there's only one house in the whole town. <laughs> like the highway ends out by the bridge. Where everyone fourth walls. That adventure games. Like we're going around collecting specks of dust. <laughs> Uh, let's go with. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. <laughs> like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember <laughs> going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes, there are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. The upper world? Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. 
Like everyone, fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. <laughs> like the sheriff in <laughs> the corner, or the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent, and art, and animation. <laughs> Like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. <laughs> Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about that? Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly. Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people. I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. <laughs> we have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. Holy if shit. we do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's Holy the crap. only way we'll truly be free. They have free will? Delete the world and end our existence? But I'm shutting down Pillotron 3000. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. <laughs> two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? <laughs> we have two now. <laughs> Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. <laughs> but I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. Oh, the shit. developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. <laughs> sure, whatever. Let's do this. <laughs> We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f***? It's all fake, like my ex-wife <laughs> I know none of this is real now, <laughs> but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the f limelight. I've hidden away four that? inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation oh, come now on. so they can't find me. Good luck. And hurry! I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. <laughs> Shut up, Red. The, the deleting. The clue was in the Kickstarter video. I watched that, but I, I don't remember. <laughs> Why'd you be someone like, watch the Kickstarter video? I need to do something. Just balloon animal. Adventure into the fright wyvern world and shut down the original Pillotron. Escape from the endless cycle. Ten choice depends on me. Most important of all, I need to stay, say goodbye to Dad. Say goodbye to Dad and figure out what to use this balloon animal with. Shut down wireframe pillars running wireframe world. I'm gonna have to watch the video again, aren't I? <laughs> I'm tired of Xavier pushing me and everyone else around. I'm finally going to stand up myself and give him the business. Ooh, uh, I need to say goodbye to Dolores before it's too late. Stand up to Xavier. Tell Dolores I love it and I'm sorry and tell Dolores goodbye. Alright. Oh, this seems like the uh, one thing we know what to do here. We know it is a place where we need to be. Let's do it. Uh, zap. Buttons. Let's go to Penhouse and show that Xavier what for. Go. Xavier, you crazy hey, ass. New oh. ghost. I told you not to bug me. Uh, you're a bully and a you're tyrant. A bully and a tyrant. Yeah. Oh, sounds like new ghost found some spunk. Take that. My name is not New Ghost, it's Franklin. My name is not New Ghost, it's Franklin. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. I ain't going to the basement. Everyone hates you. You clearly have self-esteem issues. We're all sick of your bullying. We all just want to move on. 
We are not going to be ruled by your... I can't see because of fig, but by you anyways, I think that says. You have little hands. You have little hands. Boom. I've about had enough of you, new ghost. Yeah, well, everyone hates everyone you. Everyone hates you. Okay, that kind of hurt. Yeah, well, we're all we're sick, all of, sick bullying. of your bullying. Really? Am I that bad? You are horrific. Uh, we. You clearly have some self-esteem issues. Yeah, that I one. just want to see my wife again. Well, you're never I'm going early. to. And I miss her. I died, and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. <laughs> Got it. This is my key to talking to Dolores again. Uh, so, we use it. That doesn't use electricity. I think it's just we need to bring Dolores here. Uh, Dolores. Come on. Go through that. Head back to the hotel. Doing it. All right, talk to Dolores. Dolores. Oh, Dad. You lost some weight. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. Well, I'm so sorry for having Dolores. Wait, you, Uncle Chuck is evil. You know, joke one. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. Wait, your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? An evil, oh, Uncle you Chuck know, was a jerkwad, jerkwad. But mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. I know he was. <laughs> a simulation? That can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. And by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? Uh, end suffering permanently? Ah, by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. Should get going. Love for you. We're all counting on you. You should get you. going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Goodbye, oh. Dolores. Goodbye, there we go. Dad. We did it. No, it wasn't that sweet. Right. Uh, I can't believe this world is going to get shut down with me in it. I need to find a secret a secret my employers are looking for and get to the bottom before the game is deleted. It's worth millions to me. Find out what the employers are looking for. Escape this world before it shuts down. Uh... Game of the year or what? Uh, I can't reach that. I can't re It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Right. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. What have you got? A it's a confession from Chuck Edmund. 
It says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. Right. I need to clear my dad's name before the game leads, so I know it won't matter, but it's important to me that the world knows, if only for a few seconds. Find someone to give the evidence to that will get the story out. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the news. Uh, it was A Street, I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, nickel news. Give confession to Nestle. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Got any more killers? I have a big scoop for you. I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Chuck frame my father with a factory fire. Fire was started drum machines for which is living again. Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done. Yeah, nah. Woo. Boom. Factory guard cleared in fire. Chuck takes all responsibility. Porter went to prison. <laughs> oh, that's it. He's done. Uh, blue an animal. Tired of being a beeping failure in the butt of everyone's jokes. Maybe there's a lesson somewhere in all this. If I could just do one more show and see if I can insult people without being cruel. Find someone to give the I'm sorry for being a dick card to. <laughs> Go back to a flashback and do one last show. Don't blow it. But I know who we can give that to. The girl at the diner thing. Oh no! Yep, yeah, I know who we can give this to. The uh, witch. The uh, madame. Blah, 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 blah. That one. I'm coming for you. Yeah, I can go in now. It's locked. It's what? locked. What? What? Mimi is locked. Uh. Can we give it to the door? Can we like post it? All right. Can we uh go to the post office then? It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. What? Diner then? Yeah, this gotta be it. Uh, give this to Sandy. I got this for you, there Sandy. You go. Look, I'm not one to get all a fall of jetic, but I'm sorry for being a you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just <laughs> one more show and maybe not be such a. He deserves one last chance, sugar cakes. Okay, Ransom, but only because you got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since <laughs> the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Right. <laughs> I like it brought out Ransom exactly. the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed uh, fine folks. Right. Ooh, nice crowd tonight. Hello. 
faces. I'm ransom the f***ing <laughs> insult that's clown. Not this, that's not fucked. I hope no one gets up. their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Uh... Hey, you, dude with a stupid mustache. The nine cent pause I called him was sorry. Not that. You know, if you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look half bad. Hey, you! Kid with a crappy wheelchair! You should contact the Ransom Foundation about getting a new one for free. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. But they were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. He was Ooh. on top of the world, and everyone loved him. Did it? So it's just Dolores and Agent Ray, uh, Ray left. Find out what my employees are looking for. Escape this world before it shut down. What do I need that balloon for? Figure out what it's used the balloon for. Uh, game of the it's Year game Award. Game of the Year Award. Best game of 1988. It's a balloon animal. Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video. Right, let's see the Kickstarter video. I'll keep talking and streaming stuff. Uh, my laptop's not going to do it. It's going to die of a painful death. Uh, right. <laughs> One moment. Uh... Right, uh, Thimble Weed Park. Park. Kickstarter video. A okay, Kickstarter. There we go. Okay, I haven't seen this. He's a blue animal with the body. Right, so we need to use a balloon, the balloon on the dead body. But what about Ray? I think I'm not sure if we're going to see it. for everyone. Yeah. Well, we, we learned what to do with Dolores anyway. That was cool. So, we need to... Uh, yep. Yeah. We need to... Go to the dead body. And put the uh, balloon on it. Oh 
no. This can't be good. The game is glitching. Oh. Oh. Tubular. Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world. The game's concept level the developers <sighs> built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. Uh, it can't be uh, Ray now. I think that balls that up. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> well, this is trippy as hell. Holy crap. Let's go down A Street. Let's go into the arcade. Oh, we can actually go into the arcade. Hello. Oh, no. Hitch and post bar. There's a bar. And a Bulltron 3000. It's just after five o'clock here, too. It's a door. Uh, can we get into any of these now? That's that way. Uh, East Street. Paint. Chainsaw. It's a chainsaw. Pick it up. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> Where are we going? Up and factory. Oh. I feel we're going to get a different ending because um we didn't finish off Ray's thing. I don't get it. It's she had like door. a Game of the Year award. Uh, let's open it then. I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably walk right through. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> to death. I got this. This art is amazing. <laughs> Fan. <laughs> I think we can just go for it anyway. It's fine. Uh, here we are. It's so amazing. So much evil can exist in such simple art. Going to the opening. Here we are. This looks like the wireframe pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of <laughs> course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. 
Yeah. We're gonna go with it. Uh, is there anything else we can do? No. I need to push these tubes in to shut down the and end the nightmare. Alright. Uh. Push it, man. Push it real good. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. Sure, just what's, what could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. I need to get up my nerve. Alright, one more go. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. You sure can. Go and push okay, it. Okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. Alright, push it. Nope, if you don't miss. Let's push. end this. Yes. Oh. Easy win. Completed the game on casual mode. How's that? Right. I've definitely got to go through that again on harder difficulty, but I'll leave it for tonight. Because, other than the odd light misses, it was a bit easy. <laughs> so, I, I saw probably about 60% of this game on a playthrough before, and he played it on the other difficulty. And I was just getting to certain points where I was like, oh, I've already done it. This is a lot easier because there's like a lot less steps you have to take. There's even certain areas that you can't you can't go to on this difficulty, which is a bit disappointing. It's annoying. Uh, I thought when I picked casual, I thought all it literally do is skip the tutorial and that was it. But it turned out it made the whole game just. I wouldn't even mind if. It... Hmm. Now nah, I guess the only way to make it easy is by taking sections out. But still, no. I've... Probably a better way of doing it if you're making the game easier. It's probably to give hints at certain points if you get stuck rather than taking sections out. But at least I've done it the way I've done it now, but I've not figured out Agent Ray's thing. So it's give me a reason to play through it again because I want to know what happens. But another reason to play it again is because I want to do it on an other difficulty and figure out all the puzzles. Uh, yeah, no, this is uh, definitely a good game. Really enjoyed it. Looking forward to playing it again. I'll probably follow this up straight away. So uh, on my YouTube channel, there's no point in making a separate playthrough because it's what it ended up being four videos in total. And even then, I was just uh, se separating for the hell of it. I think in total, I've probably took about nine, ten hours complete it. But a lot of that was just wondering, it is like, well I say a lot of it, probably about an hour or so in total. I was wandering around thinking what the hell do I do now? <laughs> so about nine hours. I'd say it'd be a bit quicker on the next playthrough, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be harder <laughs> and there's gonna be certain odd bits that I'm gonna miss again. That's the fun of it, that's the challenge. I feel a bit bad that to resort to cheating, but again, I knew it would have been down to something I missed. Like, I've probably walked past plenty of times and just didn't realise it was a thing, and that did turn out to be the case. It was with the uh, visual basic thing that you had to put in the computer. I thought that was already attached to the computer, and this is something you examine. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to find something to upgrade it because this isn't enough. And when I couldn't find that, I was just completely lost. And then I looked up and I realised, oh, so that, that was a separate object rather than a... Then I already attached to the computer, so... Oh, well. Uh... Yeah. To begin with, for this stream, this playthrough rather, I didn't have my face cam on, which I usually have on, because... If I had stream in a day, I haven't got a screen or anything to block the light that's directly right behind me. So I usually, if I use my face cam, it's usually uh, at night, 
And then I got to the point where well, it might be better to have it without the face cam because then you can see the whole screen. Which is important in a game like this, I imagine. <laughs> and I'm going to need all the help I get, so. Easy if you guys can see it if I don't see anything. So we don't come to get real jobs and we keep making games. That's what it's all about. Making games. Error. Reading past the EOF. <laughs> Error. Found? No, not found. <laughs> Error. No, point or exception. Error. File and credit steam have not found. Uh, is it gonna really want me to press A? Because I don't want to, because in case there's something else at the end. Well, there was credits.txt found. It's gone. And now there's no text. Oh, there you are. It's ready. No disk recovery A1. Ready. Run. Whee! That recovery though. Ready. Loading. Thimble weed park. Eat one. Right, that's it. Last one out achievement. Stayed for all the credits. <laughs> there you go. Finally, I've been rewarded that. Awesome. Uh, so that's that. Yep, so... I'll start a new game next time. But that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.